back, relax, maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about the Hi guys, so I'm here today to do a review for another of my SBFBO books and I will start off this review by saying that this one does count as a semi-finalist for me because I definitely enjoyed this and I certainly think loads of you should read it, it's a lot of fun. And a story that I think if you like journeying stories then you're going to like this one. So we start off the book by following a character called Strider and Strider is a man who has just killed his lifelong enemy. He has been searching for this man for a long time because this man killed a lot of his family. We don't know why or how he got into this situation of kind of following and hunting down this person but we know enough that we know he's just achieved his lifelong dream and goal and he's kind of at the point of giving up on everything. He wants to just pass away quietly. However, he has a great big wolf character who is his companion called Gria and Gria does not want him to just pass away. He wants him to carry on going and so a young girl called Addie comes up to the man who is clearly dying and tries to steal from him and Gria forces Strider, the man, to hunt her down and get his possessions back and hopefully um, kind of find a way to carry on living. And they do end up doing this because Addie is a sort of street urchin character when we meet her. She is on the run, she is struggling to be a street urchin because it's not what she is native to. Um, she's actually had quite a set of circumstances that have led her to this predicament and we find out about a lot of them later on. But Strider ends up crossing paths with her quite quickly after these events and she is in a bit of a problem and he is the one to save her from this problem and from that point onwards they form a kind of reluctant, very reluctant on Strider's part. Um, friendship is a harsh word, I would say almost acquaintance, that sort of thing, but they do develop into a friendship as time goes on. Now this story really is a journeying story, it is very much about the two of them on a long journey trying to get Addie back to where she belongs and she is very naive of the world. She is struggling to live on the streets because she just doesn't understand or know anything about it really. And she is in a bit of a pickle really. Um, if she didn't meet Strider, she would probably be dead. So I think she's very aware of that as a character as we go through the book. And yet she also has her moments of kind of being a little bit stuck up and a little bit stubborn and a little bit um, unwilling to change her mind on some things at first, but we do see a lot of growth from Addie. I did find her the hardest to connect with. I think Strider and especially Gria, who is obviously an animal companion, are easy to connect with because they feel like familiar tropes, like the grizzled old man who wants to die and the animal companion are, are very stereotypical fantasy tropes and things that I like to see and have seen many times in my fantasy books. So I was definitely on board with them pretty quickly and obviously we meet them at a time where it's very life and death. However, Addie felt a little bit more, um, her naivety put her off, I think, because she doesn't feel um, as approachable. She doesn't feel like she gets her predicaments and her situations or what she should be doing and so you get a bit frustrated with her at first but as the story goes on the two of them are just so interesting to follow. I think the way that the characterization is developed across this book and across this journey and the things that they come across along the way like the problems, the people, that sort of thing seeing them learn and grow, not just one of them, but both of them, um, I really enjoyed. And I think they complemented each other really well as the book went on. They helped one another to learn things and to grow and to change a bit about their perspectives, especially Addie, who is obviously incredibly naive, but Strider as well, I think, kind of comes around to learning some new things about the world that he didn't necessarily see coming um, and some new reasons to live in particular. So I definitely liked this book. I think that there is a lot to enjoy on this journey and the magic of this world is pretty cool. Strider in particular has all sorts of tricks up his sleeve, um, which I really like to see. And Greer is kind of this magical-esque beast as well. I also think that Addie develops a lot more backbone and just kind of comes into her own a lot more. Um, she starts to understand a lot more about the wider world than just her narrow view that she's been taught and grown up with. And she starts to kind of question things and, and 
think about why things are the way they are and whether they should be that way or not. I think this one grew on me a lot. At first I was enjoying it but I wasn't feeling like super compelled by the characters and by the ending I was definitely hooked in and I really wanted to know what was going to happen next and I was very much invested in the relationship that had been developed for the characters and I was really keen to kind of continue on that journey with them and this is just the first one in a series. Um, the second one's not out yet, I wish it was. But I really did find that the ending, especially I think the last, I don't know, maybe 20%, um, was very dramatic. It had a lot going on. And when you're on a slower adventure story like this one, um, and then it sort of climaxes, I was quite pleased that although there was a lot going on, it didn't feel overwhelming. It didn't feel like a ginormous battle scene. It felt more approachable and readable. Um, and this feels more like a sort of journey, a sword and sorcery kind of style book, that kind of thing. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and I ended up enjoying it more than I thought I would. So I did give it a four out of five stars, which is eight out of 10. And I would class this as one of my semi-finalists for the SBFBO this year. So congratulations. And uh, I would love to hear your thoughts. If you guys are gonna pick this up, please let me know what you thought of it. I do hope that you will. And I will see you very soon in another SBFBO video. Bye all. Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book and come back and chat with me again.